hi. How you guys doing? Good. You probably don't even know that this stuff is here. We just call you up and put you in the spot, isn't it? It just arrived today. Just yeah. Yeah. Like, what? Talk about our our Christmas presents coming early. Right? <laughs> That's right. right. The day before Christmas, and, yes. and we've been waiting for this for quite a while. Actually, That's right. yes, yes. Partially my fault. I didn't order for some time, but eventually we did. And yeah. It's here now. Um, among the usual product that that this company offers, we have also these crazy cool sets here. Yes. Yeah. Or do, do you want me to give a little bit of an uh, introduction? Yeah. So yeah. This is um, Tusagawa or TGW. Yep. Um, and that's a small uh, Japanese company that specializes in doing um, very small locomotives and trams and um, uh, chassis for scratch building. And they're they're quite a niche company. Their specialty is is doing things in, in very small proportions and very small scale. So where should I get started? Should we should we start gonna bring this? these along? Move it, yeah. move it. Yeah, probably to the middle. I'll, I'll follow you with the battery. Oh, you've got the battery. Oh, great. We are fully connected. Yeah, so that's that's wired up, ready to go. We've had these before, but it's been a little while. And so this is all turned like... on. Let's turn this on if we can. Oh that's wow! It. Look at that. You've got a little controller on the front there as well for speed. Yeah, that's it. So this is the what you great. call a, a micro layout, isn't it? It's like a ready-built micro layout, and yeah. it's very small. I don't have the exact dimensions, but this could be more than like. Less than A4 paper, I would yeah, say. Yeah, way less see. than an A4 paper. I think paper. we have an A4 paper here. It's actually smaller than an A4 paper. Well, actually, it is about just about the same, just about the same size. Yeah. So, like, this is a truly portable layout system. Yep. Um, and ba battery operated as well as yeah, because it's on batteries right now. So isn't we are it? running it's on fine. a USB power bank. Yep. Well, you just plug it into you know USB charger top thing. That's as well. right. Well, the the power requirements for Marvel Railway is actually is actually very limited. Yeah. Usually it's like twelve to sixteen volts maximum, and yes. that's like full throttle. Oh. Uh, when things are going slow, like this oh, unit, here, oh, it has this this uh, stop it for a moment. Um, so it's, you could probably get quite a few hours of of running out of a out of some AA batteries. There we go. Very very sharp curves. There aren't many locomotives that will make it around something this sharp. In fact. He's I struggling a bit now. This only likes it in a, in one direction. Let's see if we can change the direction. Yeah, oh, that's my fault. I changed it to the other side, but yeah, it was going. It was going okay before. I, uh, I think. I think it needs a bit of speed. Speed. Uh, it needs a bit of inertia to work yeah, it to work it around the curves. Yeah, push him along. Go plugger. There we go. Go baby. Well, oh, she's <laughs> she's top heavy in this configuration, isn't she? No. Well, there you go. I think we we've we've got a, a front wheel that's that's moving off, but oh, oh, that's there it. we go. Not happy. <laughs> so plugger, get it going. plugger is designed for a little bit larger layout. radius that's than right. this one, um, and it, it it based on the uh, the one of the Cardo chassis because it the uh, the bogies like they they sw like pivot they swivel with the I think it's still. I think it's still the rear. Oh, the no, rear end is now. is the rail, but it kind of serves the purpose. It sort of works, yeah. So obviously a shorter chassis works. Yeah, well something those. with four wheels Only. would be really good. Yeah. Um, but that isn't that is pretty amazing. So this is like a ready to go layout. I know that they make scenery plate pieces. Yeah. That will fit on this. Um, that you can scenic. Well, I guess it's pretty easy to see because this is held on with magnets, right? Yes. Yeah, that's right. So the the plates has come off. Just unclips like this. And you can see the uh, the contacts are uh, uh, right there. Right. And then here. And it easily just changes over because quite often we see them, they've got like a, a different season layout they've made on this. You know, you put different trees here, different buildings, you have your summer, your winter, autumn, spring setups, mm. and you just change it whenever you feel like it. That's brilliant. That'd be great if like if you had like a Christmas theme and then you took that off and then in the you know another time of the year you've got something different on there. Yeah, yeah that's right. It's really cool. And it's it's great that you've got the contacts. So I guess you only need just that one area for contacts given how small the well, that's right. the system is. That's it. Correct. And and then, it's quite light, isn't it? It is. It doesn't weigh hardly anything. So you notice that we've got the USB connected on the side here. It does also have a channel in the bottom. So they can hide one of those batteries. Yeah, probably, one of those, let's see, this is probably too that's big. That's a big style one. But you can fit a smaller one in here and it can be yep. all connected. And it's got another USB connection there. It's going to actually fully also, hide it's it. internal, like, like entirely wired up internally. Yes. Yeah, that's right. So you can fully hide it and leave it on your um, bench top. They thought about this. It. They have. So it's very portable indeed. So we just click that back. And maybe we'll get something on there 
that um, is more suited. Yeah, let's. And uh, then maybe you can show off what we've got here. You guys hungry? You guys oh, want yeah. some, You guys want some sushi? Yeah, I'm pretty do you, hungry. Do you want some some actual sushi train? Well, like this is this is, sushi? this is an actual sushi <laughs> train, isn't it? This is like no pun intended. Like this no. is an actual sushi train. Um, really, really interesting concept uh, that they've come up with. But they uh, TGW has this range of of small powered for model railways sushis, and there's probably like two dozen different types wow. that I've seen. There are, but and we've got a few here. Different ones it looks good enough to eat. Obviously, oh, you don't want to eat it, but I, I love the packaging too. Food sample train series, they call it. So this this is like a shellfish. And then we've got the that's the sliced omelet. Yep. And then we've got everyone's favorite, then you know, you get a prawn. And then we've got this one here too. Oh, and... it has like chives oh, cut wow. up on it. That's special. It's cool, isn't it? It's very typical Japanese that every restaurant in their window they have their pre their plastic kind of That's right. dishes pre made. Yes. So you know exactly what you're gonna get. There you go. I gotta make sure he's on the track properly. Uh, yeah. yeah. This it's one should be okay. Small. Needs a little bit of running in because it's still pretty fresh. That's but a very good you, point. Once you give it a bit of speed, off you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. This needs what? a the run there's a bit and more speed and we've got yeah. our fast sushi train off it goes it's, Go, it's, baby. Such a, it's such a bizarre concept but uh -huh. it's very fun and they've done i think it works because they've done such a great job with it like it's a very it's a very realistic looking yes piece of sushi it absolutely yeah. is. we're all pretty common with that one we know all about salmon one of the most popular um fish on sushi you get around here yeah so we got quite a few different That's ones like the omelet yeah, as well yeah. This is it, and this is TGW. So uh, along with this um, set, obviously they've got some realistic-looking models as well. Yes, so yes. This guy is all the micro and a bit more fun kind of mm. stuff, but then they have a big range of, I guess, small locomotives. And yeah, you know, do you call them shunting engines? Still? Yeah, there, there are some that are about. I probably should have grabbed some, but there's some that are probably about. Oh yeah, um, we're, we're gonna whole heap them over. Yeah, we'll, we'll bring some over. No, like some of the smallest functional model railway like equipment I've ever seen. Yeah. Like some quite small locomotives. Uh, they all use probably a similar chassis, if not the same chassis, as the one that they use for oh, their sushi trains. Is this HO, look. this one? That's one of the rare HO ones. Oh, that's... oh, I grabbed the wrong one. Yeah, but it looks cool. Well, but will give yeah. us a very good indication. Yeah, that's, that's that's a big one. Yeah, that's um, still, there we go. still a... That's, that's really cool. Super micro. Let me put a top cameras yeah let's do that so i didn't even pay attention i just got one in the box because i thought they were all doing n scale but here we go that's really nice i haven't had a chance to look at any of this in detail yet because it just arrived this afternoon it's nice isn't it um but I've, i i'm familiar with this in n scale because yes. they do this exact same, same in n scale that's right scale. and this is actually quite substantial yeah it's a size heavy. yeah and they're very detailed too it's got a, a like a, a sprung um, electrical pantograph on the top. So if you had like overhead lines, um, that would look really good. I quite like the Insco one. We've had that before. We have, yeah. Yeah, the HO one looks pretty spectacular. Well, why don't we find maybe one of the steam stuff. locomotives? I'll put this down. I'll put this with the with the with the sushi, sushi train. Yeah, why don't you try this one? There's a yeah. little couple here. Little so couple. Little, thank you, BJ. Little um, the B Tank four O couple steam engine and I've, I've seen these before but i haven't seen one in such a colorful uh paint scheme so let's see if we can get this opened up I like very the snug. Too. there we go you just gotta it's a very uh tight tolerances with those isn't it yes um, see if we can really carefully, put it out. carefully get this out i'll take out the whole insert yeah because that's usually the best thing to do um, and then you have like a whole bunch of different inside the box couplers, buffer stops, and small detail parts um, that haven't been applied to it yet. So that it's nice to give you a lot of options. You've got your hmm. traditional repeater style ones, and then there's like a O link pin style one that you can use. Oh, yeah. So if you've got a really tight thumb. Yeah. Um, Regis's. I love, the, I love these couples. I do so too. good. Let's put that there. So 
there you go. Look how tiny that is. This is wow. Do some zoom action. I just want to make sure that. Oh, there we go. Hang on. Oh, yep. Yeah. Hang on. Oh, oh, oh. Back. That's it. That's it. Let me try and focus it. Wow. It's pretty good, isn't it, for a little in? I've got very greasy hands. Sorry, everybody. So there's the valve gear. And there's the motor right there. Very tiny motor. Yep. Tiny um can. I think if you turn upside down, you can see the gears as well. Actually. Yep. Look at Open that. gearing. Nice. You can see the the worm screw, and then how that attaches to there, and then allows the front wheel. So so all wheel driven, all wheel pickup, um, and I think this is going to be perfectly suited to the track that we've got here. We should give it a go. Okay, let me zoom it back down. It's going to be a challenge. To, here we go. Easy. Less wheels, the easier it is. Oh, oh, oh this go. guy's going to fly now. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, it look good, don't they? So this hasn't had a chance to run in yet, and it still runs really good. So yeah, perfectly designed for something like this, which makes sense. It's it's um, TGW's own layout design system, yeah, and their own locomotive. So they've designed it around really small, short wheelbase, like locomotives, trams, and trolleys. Let's keep it on stop. Did we talk about this one yet? No, we haven't. We talk about those. batteries, yeah. and this is running in on those. actually three double A's. Sorry. I guess if we move these out of the way, I'm yeah, put away the double. Well, we oh, here you go. Yeah, Thanks for here. We talked about this being small. So we've got um, three double A's inside. So this has just got a magnetic fitting as well. So you oh, see wow. that. So you got the controls there. You got the switch for direction. So these are just rechargeables popped in there. Looks very handmade, doesn't it? It's got it does. Wood in yeah. There. That looks like a like a pulse pulse width modulator. Yep. Um, which you can like get from an electronics store, and that effectively probably what it is what it is that that controls it controls the speed and direction. So you just pop this on. You can hear the, the snap of Click. the uh, the magnets. Actually, spin around this way. You have a better idea. Oh, we can see the front too. So yeah. you've got a power light indicator to know that it's on. Yep. Um, and then your throttle. Yep. So it's that's That's a nice feel. And yeah. then your direction. So very. Very simple, but everything you need. And it looks like there's some sort of like an accessory lead off of the front. Oh, too. that's right. Yes. Maybe for lighting or, or if you have some sort of a feature going on. But look at the size of this. You know what? This is about the same size as like an old like audio cassette case. True, uh -huh. actually. Like it's not, it's about, it's pretty much the exact same size as that. Well, you can put it in your pocket and carry it around. You could. Yeah. Let's see. We might as well see if that couple goes around. I'm sure it will. I couldn't imagine making anything smaller than this. Oh, look at that. Wow. It's really smooth as well. <laughs> yeah, good is it? That is amazing. I'd actually get it to go quite slow. Yeah, focus on there. There we go. Yep. So he's going backwards at the moment. Pick him over. Get him going forward. There we go. Well, there you go, guys. So you have no excuse to not have a model railway layout now. Space, is that's it. space is no longer an issue. You could even put a little bit of yep. landscaping in there, too. Yeah, you absolutely. Put some trees in the center. I could just imagine like a small Christmas tree in the middle. <laughs> ah, excellent. Put that going around. That would be really cool. That's a good idea. So but good. Brilliant. I love this. But the, uh, I, guess, I guess sort of like, you know, this is, this is the, the template, and then your imagination can go wild, and you can come up with all kinds of fun and wacky scenes with something Absolutely. like this. And given that you can replace that panel just like the big one, yep. you could have multiple multiple things. Going Seasons on. again. So cool. There we go. Excellent. Well, so that's exciting. So that's, that's only a special. small selection of what we've got. So we've got chassis as well. So this is just a chassis in it. So I'm going to go back again. So it's up the, there. the longitudinal motor. Oh, it does. Yeah. Yep. So I guess if you wanted to um, custom build or scratch build something that was really small. You have, you have a lot of chassis um, on offer from TGW yep. to power that. You can make a tiny tram. That's it. We can make a tiny we plugger. We easily could. Or like an even smaller plugger. Get some nice carriages. They're almost like a, um, like a that's like a VR livery when you think it's about true. it. Yeah, same yeah. colors. 
so cute. They're really nice details for such a, something so small. So we'll get them in different colors. There's a brown one here as well. Oh, wow. Look at that. Now, these are um, rail, like rail buses. Kind of hard to see in the packaging, but they've got like the bus nose on them. Oh. So these are powered oh, are they? as well, these ones. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, and I think I think you can you can extend them with these oh, and I have see. like a longer train. Right. Nice. Yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? it? Certainly is. Yeah, it's good that we've got them in. Yeah, I've been looking forward to seeing these for a long time. Oh, that's that's quite new. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. It doesn't weigh hardly pocket. anything either. Yeah, yep. pocket pocket model railway. Pocket sushi train. <laughs> so yeah, so got your coffee. Got your salmon when you're hungry. The, the, the salmon looks quite funny too. Because I that, wonder if we can runs... make that go around. It yeah. does. It does. Oh, we it actually does. We, we had it going around before. Already tested. A million miles an hour. It's got oh, needs needs a bit more um, momentum to get around the curve, doesn't it? You can't really see the wheels too well unless you look at it. There you go. <laughs> it's going a million miles an hour. That was so that's my cat compact. Nuts. That's it. Compact. Yeah. <laughs> a compact sushi train. How good is it? That's brilliant.